Well, it's the end of an era on I-94, or should I say, above it. A mannequin known as Mini Mapco, yes, it had a name, and I'll get into that later, sat on a red Porsche, which in turn sat perched on a massive pole above the interstate. It was there for more than 40 years, greeting drivers just north of downtown Minneapolis, and then, late last week, poof, it was suddenly gone. I did some digging today, and it turns out that the business that put Mini up there left many years ago, and the school bus transportation company that's there now, well, they need all the help they can get advertising in light of the driver shortage. But I also found out that that's not the end of the road for this landmark. Far from it. Interstate 94, just north of downtown Minneapolis, has a new look after Billy Bus Transportation knocked Mini Mapco from her perch. But don't worry, after more than 40 years, the mannequin and her Porsche are hitting the road. So I have a freeway. To retire. 35W. A few miles south. So I'm thinking that'll be a kind of an addition to my little thing here going on. Jake Hood's little thing is Hot Sam's Antiques in Lakeville, which is the kind of place you have to see to believe. Basically, I'm a junk man with a sense of humor. <laughs> Which brings us to the call Jake received from someone with Billy Bus a few days ago. He said, we got something you may be interested in. You can actually have it for any for nothing if you want it. I said, well, sure, I'll take that. Good price. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the price is right. So It'll be a fun addition. Jake's longtime partner, Kathy Sakri, says the car instantly reminds her of her trips back from college in the 1980s. So I would drive by coming back to the cities, and I knew I was on my way home. And I'd always see her waving. She, <laughs> she'd be waving. So. She was waving, always waving. For Dory Wolf and her sisters, Minnie reminds them of the man behind it, their dad, Joseph Garber. My dad was very creative and thinking of outside the box. Yes, that was that was certainly a testament to his creativity and outside the box thinking. It was to get people's attention and also it was a good um, landmarker when you're giving directions on how to find the store. That store used to be advertised on the door until new owners replaced it with Psalm 4610 in the 1990s. It originally had big yellow letters with MAPCO. It was MAPCO Red with big yellow letters that said MAPCO, Minneapolis Auto Parts Company. At that time, they say Minnie even had a twin. And yes, they were into sports. He put them in both the twins' uniform, and one of the mannequin was up in the car, and the other one was down by the fence. And they would have the mitt, and it would be looked like they were tossing the, the uh, baseball back and forth. Over the years, Minnie was joined by a robot co-pilot, also created by their father. And as they pulled into their new home this afternoon, Jake was already making plans to put her back on a pedestal where she belongs. I can maybe get it 12 feet, eight, 10 to 12 feet in the air. It'll be enough to where you can see it from the freeway. And family can certainly visit her anytime. Hardware Hank actually is one that the family comes in every year to visit and say hi. Next time I'm in Minneapolis, that's going to be my first stop. We're happy to hear that it, its life will live on still. It's a little bit of my dad, and he's still here, and he's still with us, and he was happy when it went up, and he's probably happy that it's still around. I'm sure he is. Representatives for Billy Bus weren't around today, but a senior manager did tell BringMeTheNews.com that they didn't realize exactly how popular Minnie was until it was too late, adding that they would have loved to have replaced her Porsche with a Mini Bus up there and put her back on top, but it's a little late for that and a little too expensive to pull off too.